Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can create a full width Instagram feed in a Squarespace Bedford website. Now this is a super quick tutorial because we're using just a little bit of custom CSS to adjust the margin, padding, and width to get it to stretch all the way to the edges of the page. Now the codes I'm using today are listed in the description beneath the video, but make sure you watch the whole tutorial so you understand exactly which values of the code you need to adjust to make it work on your own website. Okay, let's hop into my demo site and take a look at how this works. So here we are in my demo site and I have a carousel Instagram feed right here. Let me show you really quick which type this is because that's very important. I'm gonna select edit and I'm gonna click edit right here so you can see the design style we're using is the carousel style. That's what this code is particularly written for. It has all my images side by side and that's what we're gonna stretch full width. So I'll just hit cancel because we're not doing any changes here and let's hop over to our custom CSS. We'll select design and then head down to custom CSS there at the bottom. This is where we'll be pasting the code. So it's really easy to remember the code name for this element. It's SQS block Instagram creative, right? So I've typed that in there. And the first thing we're going to do is adjust the padding. Right now it has a little bit of padding on the edges. So I'm going to say padding 0px important. Now you'll notice that stretched it out a little bit, but we're not done yet. There's a lot more to do here. The next thing I need to do is adjust the width. Right now, this is 100% of the width of the site content, but you'll notice it's not the width of the page. My page is actually much wider. So I'm actually gonna say width 150% to make it stretch a bunch, but it now goes all the way off the page. But we want it to be centered on the page. So guess what we need to add that negative margin as? Yep, negative 25%. So I'm gonna say margin left, negative 25% and check it out. Now it's gonna scoot all the way to the left and all the way to the right being full width and not the width of just the on-page content. You'll also notice I don't have a scroll bar going to the left or the right. It's stretched to the maximum size of that page. Pretty awesome, right? Now, after you've adjusted the width and the margin to fit your own site, just select save and that code will be applied to your site. You'll be good to go. So that's it for this tutorial, a nice quick one for today. Again, the codes I used are listed in the description beneath the video. And I do wanna mention the values I just used are percentages. I think that works really well with Squarespace's responsive site builder, but you can trade those out for a PX value or VW for view width, whatever you're comfortable with for your own website. I recommend percentages, but you do what's best for you. So thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.